Okay, so if you're having an issue uh, with your PS3 where you turn it on and you get a green light, solid green light, but uh, you don't get anything on the screen, uh, you've already tried to, uh, you know, do the reset uh, just in case there was an issue with, with the uh, HDMI or uh, RCA cable. You've already tried another HDMI cable, and still, uh, so you get you get the green light on your uh, power button, but you you don't get anything on the screen. It just says no cable connected. Uh, there's a few issues that uh, can be wrong with your PlayStation, and one of them is uh, the hard drive. And another one is the uh, GPU uh, processor, which is the video processor of the PS3. Uh, so to find out if the hard drive is the issue, uh, what you want to do is you want to unplug, make sure that it's off, the PS3 is off. Uh, unplug the power cord from the back of your PS3. Okay. Uh, you want to take your uh, hard drive out of the PS3 and uh, to do that you need to uh, take out a screw underneath it right here and then uh, basically just uh, take out this there's a plastic door here that covers the the hard drive then uh, just pull it out gently just place it on the side plug the power cord back in okay we have our red light then just uh, turn it back on uh, just gonna wait a little bit here and see what we get uh, Yeah, so it says system, uh, well, it says cannot start, the appropriate system storage was not found. So you know that the the, the, the GPU, which is the uh, video processor, is, is working. Uh, like I said, if you don't get that screen, if you still don't get anything, then you have an issue with the uh, GPU. You might want to check uh, other videos on YouTube on how to fix that. But if you're getting this screen where it says uh, cannot start, the appropriate system storage was not found, then you know you have an issue with your hard drive. Uh, I had already replaced the hard drive that was giving me the issue, which is this one. And uh, I already screwed the new one back in. So basically, you, what, the way you want to do it is uh, take out these four screws around it, underneath it. And then just purchase a new uh, hard drive. Make sure it's a 2.5 inch uh, SATA hard drive. And uh, you can get a pretty good deal if you get it on eBay or any other uh, online store. And want to make sure you turn off your PS3 back. Unplug the power cord. And just uh, place the uh, hard drive back in. Plug the cord, the power cord back in.
turn it back on. Now after you turn it back on, uh, you're going to get a screen on the TV that says uh, that you need to make an update. And just follow the instructions. It'll tell you to connect your uh, controller using the USB cable to your PS3. Just follow the instructions. Uh, it'll ask you to uh, for the update of the PS3, the firmware basically. Uh, the way I did it was uh, because there was no way for me to back up the data on this hard drive uh, was to just get a new um, burn a DVD I burned the, the firmware, I downloaded the firmware from the PS3 uh, website I downloaded that into my computer and then I just burned a uh, DVD data disk and I just placed that into my uh, disk drive and just follow the instructions. It should take about 20 minutes. Uh, and just uh, follow the instructions, and you should be back on. Uh, after you do the update and get the firmware into the um, PS3, uh, you should be able to get uh, your PS3 uh, working again. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes for the whole procedure to do. Um, after I had already uh, screwed the hard drive. Uh, now I, I have this one open because um, I wanted to clean the the fan. It looked a little dirty, so. But as far as uh, replacing the bad hard drive, that's all you have to do.